Today we're hungry. I am going to design, yes, a pizza jewel. Hello and welcome to Blender 3.5. Go to edit references, add ons. Search for add mesh extra objects, turn it on. Now add mesh diamonds, brilliant diamond. This will be a movie. Center into the view. Dimensions 2. Make a shift D, copy it. Dimensions 125. Enter, copy, paste, prism scale. Save your project and be happy. Now quickly go to materials, new material, ruby. Go to import display, color, make it reddish, something like this. Take this one, new, it's diamond. Go for display, make it slightly bluish. It's not realistic, but it helps to see properly. Save and be happy. Now go to top view, add finish, play. Go to edit mode, take these, scale, move, move, okay, create a triangle for the shape of your pizza. Now add modifier, subdivision surface, simple, go at level four. Add modifier solidify, thickness one, offset minus one. Add modifier bevel, add modifier displays, new texture, go to textures. Type marble, top view. This looks like a pretty great pizza. Don't forget that you can adjust the size of the texture and the strength of the displacement somewhere here. Add modifier subdivision surface, level three. If you don't like the shape of the displacement, add mesh cube, center it. Make the displacement origin to the object. Select your new cube right here. Now take the cube. Rotate it, scale the cube as you like, somewhere here. Now also, you can put the displacement at the end in the list of modifiers, somewhere here. Now, beware of the varying thickness. Add a new solidified modifier. Offset 1, thickness 0.5. If necessary, add a remesh modifier. Adapt the voxel size to your design. Don't forget to smooth. When you like the shape, call it pizza slice. Make a copy, shift the enter. Don't forget to make it a mesh, I don't see, or object convert to mesh. Save and be happy. Pull this cube, cube, this place, and hide it. Turn on X-rays, Alt Z. Now scale your pizza slice according to the size of your favorite gemstone. This gemstone will be the ruby pepperoni. Save and be happy. Now local view to the pepperoni gemstone. Control S cursor to select add mesh hearts. Shade smooth. Go to material, new material. Go to viewport display, color, make it golden. Here, save and be happy. Go to edit mode, front view, X rays, Alt A, select this level, but here, scale it here. Go to top view, Alt A, C selection, select this with the C selection, Alt Z scale, adapt the Z scale somewhere. Check that it's lower than the tip of the gemstone somewhere here. Exit edit mode, Alt Z, select the gemstone pepperoni, do control J, so they stick together like pizza and cheese. Go back to general view, select your pizza slice, make it gold material. Take the pepperoni gemstone, turn on the snap, the snap to the face project, center, align rotation to target, click move and rotate. Now let's keep making the pizza. Make an Alt D and start distributing the pepperoni on the pizza slice. Here, check that the scale of your pizza slice and pepperoni is working. Also check the size of your pizza. Now this is a bit too small. Go back to the start, make the slice bigger. This will be something like three centimeters and a half in real life. Scale the gemstone to three millimeters. That's one third more. I'll D, distribute the pepperoni again. Now there would be no pizza without the crust. Top view, add mesh plane. F2, call it crust. Be happy, go to edit mode, scale it, grab it. Select these vertices, grab them to the other side. Full snap, don't forget to turn off the snap right here. Otherwise you'll have some snap. Problems. Exit edit mode. Remember the modifiers of the original slice. Select the crust plane, select the slice, object, link transfer, copy, modifiers. Perfect. Now the crust has the same modifiers. I the pizza slice original. H. Take the crust. Make it gold material. Here. Now adapt it to your pizza slice. In position. You can also adapt the thickness here. Keep adjusting the position of your crust. This crust might be looking too sharp. Let's remove the bevel. Let's adapt the voxel size. Readjust the thickness somewhere here. Save and be happy. Now take the small diamond. Top view, you have the snap turned on. Make an LD and start making a pave of diamonds all over LD, 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 D, D, LD, 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 LD. You can also readapt the position of the pepperoni chest. Save and be happy. Keep working on your pave. Check your pizza slice. It's looking yummy. Now take the diamond, make a shift to D, and put some of the crust. 
make this stone bigger. Dimension three, calculate the scale. Go to materials, take the ruby, duplicate it, call it orange sapphire. Go to view for this lake color and put it orange color somewhere here. Now we make a row of colored sapphires so here. This is working great. Save and be happy. Now don't forget to hide these elements, the gemstones right there. Now don't forget that this is going to be a nice young pendant. Add mesh virus. Make it size major radius 2, minor radius 0.5, segments 40 and 40 material gold. Object shape smooth. Adapt the position. Alt D on the x-axis. Don't forget the other loop on the other side. This is pretty nice. Save and be happy. Now if you need to adjust something, go to edit mode. Turn on proportional editing and work with the proportional circle if necessary, like this. Exit edit mode, save and be happy. Now, before we make all the prongs for the diamonds and the pavic settings, we are going to create some nice dripping cheese for the edges. Top view, add mesh plane, call it dripping cheese, save and be happy. Go to edit mode, this, keep these two vertices and start following the edge, just like this. Follow the edge, extrude in your vertex. Okay, once you're here, select everything, extrude on the x-axis, somewhere here. Before we continue, go to modifiers, add a solidified modifier, find a suited thickness, somewhere here, adapt the position, make it gold material, add a subdivision surface modifier, right about now, levels at 3, save and be happy. Now, go back to edit mode. Now, extrude here and adapt the design. Here, start making the other border. Extrude, 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 extrude. I want cheese pretty far up. Control select, extrude to the side. Here, delete this vertex, select these, and close the edge again. Adapt the design where necessary. You can also move it up and down if needed, like this, to make your design, to raise the quality of your design. If necessary, rotate, adjust, and adapt. Save and be happy. Adapt the position of the stones if necessary to avoid touching the borders. If a stone goes too low, correct the rotation and position manually, just like this. Save and be happy. Well now, I said this was going to be some dripping cheese, so make it drip. Vertices, extrude, scale, extrude, scale, extrude, scale, extrude. Adapt the shape. Look at this dripping cheese. Don't forget to put shape smooth. Save. Go back to edit mode. Now we'll still have some aesthetical and technical work to do. Let's duplicate the edge, move it on the z-axis, somewhere at minus 4. Here, go to edit mode, under B, extrude, and follow the upper edge. Rotate and adapt. Take these four vertices, close with F, adapt the thickness if necessary. Go to face mode, be sure to select the corners, and in between them, select a couple of other faces like this in a rather symmetrical fashion. Now, important, make a shift D, enter E, selection to extract these faces. Go to these new faces, go to edit mode, select everything with A, extrude on the Z axis to connect the levels. If necessary, we adapt position. Now, adapt the solidified modifier to make some proper connection between levels. Something like this. If your loops are too small, add modifiers, solidify, find a more suited thickness. Take the other object, take this object and the other one with shift. Go to object, then transfer copy modifiers. Save and be happy. Now on the technical side, don't forget that we need to create colors for the positions of the gemstones. Take the original ruby. Now, I've made all the copies using Alt D, that means the geometry is linked. If I go to edit mode and change the geometry, the geometry will change. But before we do that, let's select all the pepperoni gems on the pizza, like this. Make a Shift D, Alt C, Control J. These will be all gems. Save and be happy. Now take this original, call it cutters. Go to edit mode. Remove the bezel, delete vertices. Go to side view, vertex mode. D, select this level, extrude on the Z axis. Act A, select the top of the gemstone just nicely like this. Extrude on the Z axis. Now don't forget to take all of these cutters. Shift D, Alt C, Control J, all curves. Add modifier, remesh. Now take the solid pizza slice. Go to Boolean, difference, fast, search for your cutters right here. Now in the general view, don't forget to hide the cutters and remove them from rendering. Bring back the gemstones, and now you have proper positions for the gemstones. Save and be happy. Now for this line, select the gemstones like this. Make a Shift D, Alt C, Control J, pull that cutters, take the crust. Go to Boolean, Difference, Fast, Search for these new cutters. Make a local view on the crust. This worked perfectly. Hide the cutters, remove them from rendering. Save and be happy. 
Now we have all the small diamonds. In the outliner, select the first one. Go to the left one with shift. Do a shift D for control J. Hold that cutters, all diamond. Select pizza slice, add a new boolean. Difference fast. Select cutters, all diamonds. Make a local view. Check that all the cutters are working correctly. I have a failing one. So try the exact solver. The problem is solved. Go back to general view. Don't forget to hide the cutters. Save and be happy. Now, we still have two things to do. We need a pretty gallery on the back, and we need to set all the prongs for the gemstones. Let's first make the gallery on the back. A view, add mesh plane, dimensions 1.5. Let's go to edit mode and scale like this. Rotate 45 degrees, center it more or less here. Exit edit mode, make it a gold material. Now, add a solidify modifier. Thickness 1.5. Don't forget to apply the scale right here. Now add modifier array. Zero on the X factor. On the Y factor, find a suited distance to create a proper grid somewhere here. Now adjust the count to cover the entire pizza here. Now adjust the thickness somewhere here. Save and be happy. Top view. Add mesh plane. Call it pizza shape. Cutter. Go to edit mode. Keep only one vertex like this. Go to X rays. Now Start making the entire shape of the pizza slice, just like this. F, select everything with A, and F again. Now, select everything, front view, adapt, and extrude to the thickness of the lower edge. Don't forget to select everything with A, out and recalculate outside. Exit edit mode. Now, go to modifiers, boolean, intersection, path solver, and select the grid we just made. This is what you should get. Hide the grid, check the result of the cutter, make it gold material. If necessary, do a remesh with a great voxel size to make it smoother here. Now, show the grid again and call it gallery 1. Make a copy, shift D, invert this gallery, scale X minus 1. You get something like this. Don't forget to adapt the position for your slice of pizza. Now, select the one you already have, make a copy of it, and change the intersection to the gallery number two. The gallery number two, and you have a very pretty gallery on the back. Save and be happy. Now, let's make all the prongs, line of gemstones. Join them, control J, and move them up. Now, go to your diamonds. Select all the diamonds which shift in the outliner. Join them. Call that all diamonds on. Move them on the Z axis very slightly. Select the pizza slice. Do make auto smooth. Save and be happy. Now we're ready to create all the prongs for the pavé settings. Add mesh, UV sphere, segments 40 and 20. Make it gold material. Object smooth. Call it prong 0.001. These prongs will be quite big for the top row. 125. Let's go to edit mode. Slide view X rays. Alt A B. Select the bottom. Scale the prong somewhere here. Now select everything to adapt the center of the prong to this level. Exit edit mode, save and be happy. Now turn on the snap, grab the prong and start setting your line of colored sapphires like this. This is a shared prongs line. You have two prongs between two stones right here. Don't forget to have a 3D view of your work. This is great. Now make a shift D. This prong is too big. Let's remove the rotation. Let's make it 0.6. Don't forget to copy paste the scale right there. Call this small prong 0.001. Save and be happy. Top view. Now. Let's go to the tip of the pizza slice. Let's start working on this pavé. This is going to be a pavé with at least six prongs or five prongs per gemstone, per diamond. Turn on the snap, do an LD, an LD, an LD. Don't forget to check that the prongs are taking the diamond to properly set it like this. Here I'm going to start with five prongs. It will evolve to six pretty quickly, like this. Alt D, Alt D, Alt D. Now keep making decorative prongs as you progress to keep a nice and even distribution, like this. Alt D, Alt D, Alt D. Working on your distribution. Try to keep a rhythm. You'll be done in no time. Alright, we have completed the entire pavé setting with all the prongs. This looks amazing. The modeling is done. Let's save and be happy. Pavé with pepperoni rubies. Alright, so now the pizza is done. We're hungry. But to properly eat it, we need to cook it. And to cook it, we need to render it. So, let's make a chain first. Fast and first. Add curve. Busy. Go to edit mode. Position the handles. Four points somewhere here. Now, let's add a mesh circle. Make it SX. Select everything. Scale. Extrude. Scale. This is pretty good. Now adapt the scale again, somewhere here, control A, scale. Let's go to edit mode, modify your array. Take the proper distance. This is pretty good. Okay, before that, add modifier, solidify. Thickness one, put the solidify before the array. All right, let's put a bevel modifier for the array. 
somewhere here. Three segments. Make it gold material, don't forget that. Add empty plane axis. Now, in fact, everybody's going to go at zero. Location, center the empty also. Let's zoom in that. Let's take the empty and the chain. The rotation of the empty, put it at zero at first. Now, the array, let's go from an object offset. The object is empty. It's that empty, empty here. Okay, now let's take the empty and let's start moving. Okay, so that's the distance. And we're going to make it some angle on the X axis. So this chain will be good looking, but you can't manufacture this chain just like this because it's overlapping itself. So it would come out as one solid chain. It wouldn't be a chain, right? Okay, let's adapt the count to whatever you need, maybe 40. Now let's add the famous curve modifier. The curve is the only basic curve we have. Now you have this, but what you need to do is that on the location of the curve, you control A, apply location. And now let's go to edit mode. Let's select everything and let's scale this. And now we need to adapt the position of the empty or not. Maybe you like this design. This is pretty nice. Okay, let's call this chain, right? Now let's add a modifier mirror. That's a pretty nice chain for a pizza. Okay, so now that we have the chain, let's properly start cooking the pizza. We need to create materials, lighting. So the lights, uh, let's go to world. Let's add the environment right here. Let's open. Okay, so for the AGR, let's go to the internet. Let's go to Poly Habit. Don't forget to support them. They, they make a great job. So I downloaded the Blocky Photo Studio for KXR for my render. Let's go back to Blender. So let's go open this for the environment. Lucky Photo Studio. The materials only have the name, so everything must be like white gray. This looks pretty nice already, but we need to create the materials. Let's go to shading. Okay, so let's go to world. Now here we're going to do add a, add a mix color. So it comes before the background. Now let's add some color around. Okay, the mix is going to be of colors. So the color of the AXR environment is going to be mixed with this other color. But the factor is going to be the camera. So let's go to light ray. Let's go to light path node. Let's put it up here. Let's connect the camera ray to the factor right there. Okay, so now let's add input texture. So here what we need to do is let's choose a point of view. So it's going to be, in fact, a vertical render, but we're going to flip it. So now let's run Alt Control to zero to set the camera. So let's adapt the focal length. Now, the background is going to be from the camera, please, camera. And we're going to add a vector mapping. Okay, so for full generate backgrounds with like something pink, purple here. Okay, so here you can tweak as you like. Let's go to object. Okay, so this is gold uh, in RGB node, RGB right here. Let's make it golden right there. There, let's plug it here. Let's add an ambient occlusion node right there in the middle. This is maybe five. That's pretty nice. We have more contrast, more shadows, more volume. This is great metallic one, particular one. Roughness 0.05. Okay, now what we do is we add a color hue separation right there before. Now let's go to add surge bevel. The bevel goes to the normal map. Sample 16. Uh, radius maybe 0.2. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, now let's add a vector bump. Plug it into the normal map. Add a texture must grab. Texture must grab. Plug it to height. It says don't go to normal because that ain't no normal map. All right, so let's add a noise texture on the vector. That's pretty fun. Better now the strength of the bump plugin. He generated the texture vector right there. And let's go at a mapping vector right here in the middle. You can rotate the if that's pretty good for the gold. Okay, now the gemstone. So here we go to the ruby. So the ruby, very simple. IR 185. Base color, well, red, ruby red. And roughness zero, spectacular one, transmission one. At once, let's go to render settings. So sample GN, yeah, noise, uptakes and noising. Yes, like path. Let's go the higher, not necessarily the better, but this is pretty good. Now, performance, cycle X is faster with no tiling. Okay, so we have the ruby right now. The diamonds, the small diamonds, diamond material, diamond material, diamond. IR 2.418, transmission one. Okay. And zeros peculiar one that's for a very simple diamond now let's create a fake this version because it's fun let's go up color ramp color ramp okay let's make the rainbow more or less so rgb r let's go to red now let's start let's red and red the other side too okay now let's plus this one is like yellow let's go and make all the colors there for your dispersion let's go to greenish there this side let's add some bluish right there and let's add some purple right there okay we have the rainbow for our fake dispersion now what we're going to do we have this, let's save and be happy. Let's add a glass shader. Now plug this to the glass color, 2.418. That's the IOR of the diamond. Now you add a vector mapping. This one comes before the red right there. Now we need a texture coordinate for the vector. Let's go to reflection right there. A gradient texture right before the color ramp. Okay, radial is pretty nice. So what we need here is a color brightness contrast. Let's compact the colors here a bit. There, let's go plus. This color is going to be white. White is a color. 
plus, and let's put whites on the other side too. Now, fake this version you like and works super well. It's simple, easy, and efficient. And this is exactly what my tutorials are all about. So you have some fake this version there, right there. So here, let's take the ruby, let's duplicate the ruby, let's call it orange, 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 because this is like oranger, oranger, perfect name. This is like cheddar cheese. All right, let's take the pizza, let's rotate it. So here, for the camera, we're not going to rotate the camera, we're going to change the resolution 100% to make it a 4K red. And we adapt the position, all right? Here, and what we need is depth of field. It's going to work a lot better. So, plane axis, call it Duff. Depth of field, now check the position, to the pizza, and the, oh, and the back is pretty nice. Okay, let's take the camera, camera, camera settings. Depth of field, focus on the Duff. Duff is the focus point, and now you find an f-stop distance, maybe 0.02, depends on the size. Go to solid view, let's hit F12, that's the happy moment. We all love in Blender, that's always the F12 moment. So here we are. This is a dripping cheese pizza slice, pavé of diamonds, pepperoni ruby, cheddar cheese sapphires, pendant. I hope you love this tutorial just as much as me and you enjoy it thoroughly. Now we're all going to eat some pizza. As always, be nice to the planet, be nice to animals. Take care, enjoy, and see you soon.